Well, I thought I need to get around to this. I got these boxes in the mail and I'm looking at them going, what the hell? Uh, what are they? And I was interested and I opened it up, opened it up and what? And if you understand this logo, then you know what I'm talking about, right? I was uh, going, I don't remember ordering this. I guess, I mean, I communicate with Petrified Fish online, but um, I didn't see these coming. So, all right. And this would have been a knife that I probably would not have ordered off their site because sometimes, well, first of all, I'm not really huge on, on wooden handles, okay? Second of all, I'm not necessarily a big fan of Damascus, uh, unless it's like Damasteel or, you know, Nichols, you know, Raindrop Damascus, or, you know, the 9CR18 Damascus that Sabivi uses and stuff, that's okay. But you know what? If, if I get a choice between that and their Nitro V, I'm gonna take the Nitro V. Or really, I could just take a regular 9CR18. I, you know, so Damascus is showy and people are really drawn to it, but not me necessarily. And uh, especially if it's from Pakistan, ouch. It's like the 1982 Leaf Springs of a Aries K car or something at like a 44 Rockwell. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't care if it looks pretty. It ain't pretty good. Um, and this one's centered, but you know what? I was really surprised. So weird. And you want to know, what the hell in another box, dumbass? Okay, so here it is. Damn it. It is the sheath. And baby, that smells... Oh, yeah, baby. It smells like leather. It is all of that. Um, and it's got like a magnetic clasp there. So, you know, as much as I really want to slide this, slide my belt through this sucker and put this knife that weighs nothing in in a leather sheath i know it doesn't have a pocket clip but crap i mean this thing is nothing you can just slide it in your pocket you know it's just like a slip joint knife from case or whoever i mean you don't have to have a pocket clip and i think they're trying to say that that's real turquoise in their little ad thing so but but and it's a liner lock, okay? And there's your lockup, all that kind of stuff. Nicely contoured. The wooden scales look pretty good. Um, and you can get it without Damascus. So I'm gonna run you by this real quick. First of all, Petrified Fish has got an AliExpress store. There's like, what, almost 3,000 followers on that. And so you can go and look and you, the 949 and here's the new Beluga that's coming out. Hey, let's just forget about this. Where's my Beluga? When that gets here, I am going to be, whew, I'm going to love that. Was it Nashorn Knives is a designer and he's been pimping this on his uh, Instagram, but I mean, it is damn good looking uh, design. Okay. So onward and upward. Um, this one, it's the 719 DM wooden handle, blah, blah, blah. So it's some of their pictures, they go, $23.99? No, if you buy 100 of them, maybe. But this one is $64.99, okay? And what I thought was interesting, what? Oh, and, and then, then you have to pay another... 24 bucks for the sheath. Somebody's already shaking their head saying, nah. Um, 110 layer Damascus, ball bearings, and it does. It has a hell of a drop. Sandalwood uh, blade, sandalwood on the handle, okay? And look at this one. So this is $29. So you don't get the little turquoise thing, okay, right here. And you don't get the Damascus blade. You get a 12C27 blade for $29. So I think it's the same damn knife. It's just, it's just not Damascus. And you don't get your little flick of turquoise, okay? Uh, other than that, I think that may be the deal there. 
and don't, you don't need a $24 leather holster on it. See, here it is, and they're saying 12C27. Okay, so we stared at paper long enough. Okay, let's get back to the knife. Very light. God, let's throw it on this. Oh, I just lost my battery case. Here we go. Cheap batteries, and the bottom thing falls out. Okay, please work today. It's been a day. It has been a day, let me tell you. Um, 2.38 ounces, including the tail. Yeah, okay. And 67 grams. Oop. It really, really does flick nice. It's, you know, it's not an ambidextrous thumb stud, but it flicks open really nice, and it's kind of spooky because it's very guillotine-ish on the drop. And I'm really not getting any play, which you would think, and it's centered. You, I mean, the way it acts, it's like it's loosey-goosey, you know what I mean? And I never expected this to have that kind of a drop to it. Check it out. Look at the backspacer. Interesting the way they did that. And of course, that's steel, I imagine. And yes, of course it is. And, uh, you know, little leather, you know, lanyard kind of tied on there. Give it a little style point there. So, hmm. Strange that it would come in this box. I mean, petrified fish comes in this stuff, right? And petrified fish knives look like this, by the way. The 949 in all its glory, right? And is this bowler or is this, yeah, this is K110. Okay, so uh, yeah, and then every once in a while they'll throw in a pewter tag and they'll, this is a lanyard, goes around your neck to put your tag on, I guess, so you can be a dog tag petrified fish freak right but this one very different very different let me grab my tape well okay it's three and a half inch blade 90 millimeters um but seven and a half inches overall at eh, 19 19 and a half centimeters but three and a half inch blade on a 2.3 ounce knife okay now what's the next question uh, let me reach over here will it cut anything oh okay um yes it will yes it will okay it is there's no question it's sharp okay um interesting just just weird uh i'm not sure I guess I can take this apart. I might attempt to. Look at that. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, I, maybe number six, number eight. I don't know. It's got a lot of slop in there, but yeah, I think I can. And I might be turning both sides. Yeah, this might be fun to open up. Um, Really easy to actuate. Um, and the drop. And really, hold on, let me see. Okay, I can do it like that. That's a fairly light detent. It really is, but it's really flickable and very fidget friendly. Drops right away. Very odd. Um, if you like wooden handled knives, um, and but you don't want to spend a lot of money. Spend the twenty nine bucks, get it without the Damascus, or you can spend sixty three and go for it. Uh, yeah, this is all uptown. Fit and finish seems fine on it. And let's let's get a couple of readings here. First of all, what do we got? 0 0.08. 2.2 millimeter blade stock thickness. Not very thick. 12.5 millimeters, 0.49. So, wow, I'm surprised it's that thick here with the handles. But not much on that blade, but it's slicey. It is a slicey blade and got a little cutaway in here. Um, so you can sharpen and not bang into the end there. All right. All right, um, got 
Well, it looks like it's got steel liners both sides that are nested in there. So that should be interesting. Uh, ergos are really fine. I mean, you know, it's so neutral. Yeah, you can hold on to it like that. Not a problem. And uh, let's look at blade to handle length. Oh, yeah, it's all she needs to be. And design flow is pretty decent. This kind of doesn't really flow into the bolster, but you make that decision. I'm not going to deduct a bunch for that. That's okay. Uh, there's your stop. Um, hmm. Yeah, wow, interesting. Uh, yeah, you're not touching the blade here, so there's no chance of that happening. But yeah, uh, amazing that there's three and a half inch blade in that short and overall uh, length. So, hmm, nice. Uh, I'm, I can't believe I like it as much as I do because I'm pretty dead. I'm, you know, I'm not really a big, like I said before, wooden scales. Nah, Damascus steel. It it has a nice pattern, and as long as it's a decent mix okay okay you know you think that's really real uh turquoise they had a thing in there talking about it i don't know all right i uh investigated briefly it seemed awful sloppy in there for a number eight and uh, there's a reason it's because it's a number 10 Check this out. Let me see what it's going to take to bust this away. And not too bad. Okay. And I'm not sure. Well, there's there comes a screw. So, uh, yeah, that was a that's a number ten. Okay. Wow. I'm sure you could use a number eight in a pinch and me or a number nine, but uh, okay, that's that's what she is. I wonder. Let me see. Where's my little number six? Yeah, well, that's what that is. So let's get the ten out of here, put the six in, and take the rest of it apart? Question mark. And so far, so good. Good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. And will we have a reveal here? Oh, well, yeah, maybe. There we go. So there's the underside of the insanity. Oh, these didn't fall out. Well, that's fine. They don't need to fall out. Okay, lock bar side. And here's the liner. It's not uh, skeletonized or anything, but uh, not that I think it needs to be. So no, uh, no skeletonized liners, just uh, regular liners. There's your backspacer. Uh, I'm done trying to get these apart. I don't, I don't know that it would, it's going to happen. Um, and let's, let's check this out. All right, pivot, round, uh, so there's a screw at both ends, so it's like a three-piece pivot, not my favorite, and those are some really, really small bearings, not ceramic, obviously. Well, um... I guess I'm going to reconnect with the liner here and then I can put the blade through um, and it's going to come from the front. Yeah. So we got a bearing here and we got a bearing here because there's a machined area for them to go into. And so we are going to roll the blade in. And yes, we got that. Get the lock bar out of the way. 
and now I can get this through here hopefully all the way and we did wow okay Okay, and now we need to get this little screw put in place. Yeah, I don't think you can pull them liners apart. It looks like those pins are deformed to where they won't let go of that liner. Um, are we centered? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Back with the uh, Petrified Fish PF719DM. And I don't remember. Yeah. I mean, I don't remember anything on the box telling me the model number. But on the, on the reverse here, PF719DM. Not easy to see with the Damascus. All right. Lightweight, interesting. If you like the wood, you like the Damascus, you can even get the leather sheath. Uh, so it's something to think about. Also $29 if you get rid of the Damascus and the little turquoise. So interesting knife. I'm going to leave you to it. We are Love Them Knives, so you guys stay sharp.